All right, three days of counting to Halloween, and if you've got kids, you've got worries. Will they be safe walking around a dark neighborhood? Is their costume flame resistant? What happens if they get lost and can't find their way home? All right, now that you've got me a total <laughs> nervous wreck this morning, hopefully Susan Hogan will be able to help calm our nerves with some safety tips to keep our kids safe. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Patrick. And yes, we have kids, yes. too. Mine are a little older, so mine are going to be venturing out alone for the first time without mom and dad, and that is nerve-wracking. For little kids, though, you know, you're with them, so there is a big difference. Difference. The biggest thing, though, even if you have a little kids and you're going, if they're going out, is to arm them with things that they could be spotted in because there are dark neighborhoods and a right. lot of the lights aren't that great. So some kids like mine don't like to wear all the flashy stuff or the light sticks, but make these things part of their costume because they're pretty cool. Like this necklace, I don't know if you can really see how well, but it really lights up. If it was and dark in here, right. You can exactly. Really and, you know, these, these are really cool. They're spider glow in the dark sunglasses which are really very cool for the kids and also you know my little boy who's six wants to have something to look cool sure. but also i want something for him to be safe so this is really cool because it's a light stick that glows lightsaber so, and it's Star a lightsaber Wars, but right. look it's scary too sure. so he's you know he's a cool dude walking what, around the neighborhood what about costumes are they flame resistant there is no federal requirement that mandates that halloween costumes have to be flame okay. resistant of course, like pajamas do. So what we did yesterday, actually, we went to the Woonsocket Fire Department. They were great to help us out. And we wanted to show you what happens when flame-resistant Halloween costumes compared with costumes that were not flame-resistant. And look at the difference. Right there, as you see that one right there, Patrick, yeah. that was not flame-resistant. I'm telling you, within seconds, it went up in smoke. And it really makes a difference. Now, people are thinking, you know, how often are my kids in their Halloween costumes going to be coming close to a flame? Well, think about it. What's on your front doorstep at pumpkin Halloween? Pumpkin with a candle. Pumpkin with a candle. So I want to show you something that you should do because I have pumpkins right now with candles on sure. our doorstep. But on the night of Halloween, and take the candles out. You don't want to have that liability. No. And take these light sticks, crack them up. And they'll put and then put them inside your pumpkins. Same effect. Same effect. They'll glow. They'll look really cool. And plus, they can be different colors too. It's a safety feature. Tonight, we're going to have more about that too. We'll show you more about the Halloween costumes as well because it really is something that parents have to be aware of. These things are not flame resistant for the most part, so you have to be aware of that. The other thing that's very cool is a special app that I found that you can oh, put yes. on your kids. Track them. Track them. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a really cool thing for husbands and wives, too. Just kidding. But the app <laughs> is really cool because it's called Trick or Tracker. Yeah. And so say your kids, like in my case, our kids are going out tonight, I mean, Halloween night, and you can put this app onto their smartphone, and you can watch them on your computer screen where they are throughout their entire neighborhood. No, it also works in reverse. Say that your kids get lost, and they could because sure, if happens. they're out having yeah. fun, if they get lost, they can press a little button on their phone that says, where am I? It shows them their exact location and tells them how to get home. So that's called Trick or Tracker, and you can find that on WPRI.com, and we'll give you a link. Now that is It's right okay, here. kids. To, you look cool wearing stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Sure you do, sure. Patrick. Thank you, Susan, for <laughs> sure. those great tips. And to get more safety tips, you can uh, check out Susan tonight on Eyewitness mm -hmm. News. She'll have more on her costume flame test and show you just how quickly a fun night can turn tragic. That's tonight at 530 on WPRI 12. Ben? <laughs> yeah.